What's going on, y'all? You are tuned in to The Hot List. I'm your host, Matt Johnson, with Keller Williams Realty, and I come to y'all Monday through Friday at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. We hang out and we talk about real estate questions and concerns. I do this in a by answering a question of the day that is submitted by a listener of the podcast, a past client, and sometimes a family member as well. If you have a question about real estate, you're not sure where to start uh, or what to do to get the ball rolling, I would be happy to be the real estate resource that you reach out to and think of when it comes time to do any type of, of update. Uh, you know, I would be happy to not only answer that question for you, include it in or do use it for future episodes just like this one because if you have that question the chance that somebody else has that same question or similar question is extremely high and this is a way for me to give back get in front of more people and help more people uh, doesn't cost you anything but a like subscribe and a share and I, I appreciate it if you have a question that you want answered all you have to do is shoot me a message on Facebook or the podcast player that you are tuning in. I will not only answer that question for you, but then again, use it for future episodes. <clears throat> so today's question of the day, does my mailbox lead to further curb appeal? I feel like this question is very similar to the questions I get about garage doors and that we've talked about in previous episodes because a mailbox is not likely on your top list of things that you would consider when it comes to your home or doing updates to your home. However, it actually can have a big impact on how your home is viewed, um, especially when it's going to be listed because just like your garage door, just like your front door, your entry, the mailbox is potentially one of the first things buyers will see. And, you know, this can, and depending on the condition of it, it can have a big impact on how your home is viewed, especially if it's rusty, damaged, or just seen better days in general. And giving your mailbox a facelift can make a difference on the appearance of the home because the mailbox usually is a standalone unit and sits up by the road. I, I, I say usually because, you know, depending on where you live, you may have a community mailbox uh, or it's not in front of the home. So today we're going to talk about ones that are actually in front of the home. But how much work should go into a mailbox refresh? Is it is it worth doing? Well, this is really going to depend on the condition of the mailbox, what sort of refresh and update is kind of desired. You know, there's you can find tons of ideas and examples on Google and Pinterest. Uh, you know, there's basic touches, there's refresh, there's entire rebuilds, there's unique creations and designs. I mean, the list goes on and on. So there are tons of ways that you can get it and tons of places that you can get ideas from. However, before we get too far into it, I want to do, I want to read the disclaimer for anything uh, according to the USPS guidelines. And uh, that way I also don't get sued. So wherever you live, whatever project you're doing, if it involves a mailbox, if you're doing an entire rebuild, you do need to, do it accordingly to USPS guidelines. Um, design has to adhere to both federal and local guidelines, has to be accessible by mail carriers without leaving the truck. Uh, mail slot must face the front towards the, towards the road, no more than six to eight inches away from the curb. And it must be 41 inches to 45 inches off the ground as well as include house numbers that should be attached to the post or the mailbox that are at least one inch tall. Um, 
the numbers need also need to be on the same side as the flag. So if you live, if you also live in a FHA area, you may have to get with them for additional specific rules that they have and tweak your design accordingly. Uh, now that we got all that, you know, uh, don't sue me. So today we're going to talk about three ways to give your mailbox a facelift. So if maybe your mailbox is a little tired or run down, I know mine has been in the past. Um, I've gone, I've gone through this. Maybe your neighbor, family, friend, whoever, make sure you send this to them, like, and share this out, tag them in it to get their attention. Maybe it'll be a subtle little hint, who knows? So three ways to give your mailbox a facelift. Number one is retouch your mailbox. This is typically the simplest way to give your mailbox a facelift and just kind of retouch it. Uh, and that is applying a coat of paint or something simple like a magnetic mailbox cover if your mailbox is magnetic and metal. I hope that's self-explanatory, but you know. Either one of these is going to cover and seal any type of rust that is present, improve the look of the mailbox, and prevent further damage by protecting it from the elements. If you're going to paint it, make sure you uh, wash, scrub the mailbox real good, dry it off, use a wire brush or steel wool. This is going to remove any obvious rust spots if it's metal. Uh, wash it, clean it again, dry it off. If you have numbers on there that you that you want to save, you don't want to redo, cover those with painter's tape. Uh, other option is obviously you can add new numbers once it's finished because if your numbers are looking a little tired along with your mailbox, this is the time to, <coughs> excuse me, update those and replace those. Uh, another option if your mailbox is in decent condition is to add some type of decoration like a decal on the mailbox. Uh, you know, there's many decorations out there that can be swapped throughout the year for holidays, uh, seasons, whatever the case may be. Just ensure the decorations don't obstruct the house number. Uh, or make it difficult for postal workers to deliver the mail, open open the mailbox, any anything of that nature. Number two is a revitalization project. This could include maybe a larger full scale renovation project. Uh, for example, installing your mailbox on a custom wrought iron post or like a little makeshift mail station that the that the mailbox sits on top of, or the ever popular brick enclosure that so many people like just because it it's nicer, it, hold, it holds up better, uh, you don't have to worry about replacing a post from time to time. Uh, or, you know, you can add a decorative or functional element. There are people that will add a drop box somewhere on their uh, mailbox for four packages. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Whatever you want to choose, you're only limited by the creativity of your imagination. So, you know, go crazy. But keep in mind that depending on the location of the mailbox, you may have some type of limitations on what you can install based on your either either the federal or local ordinances. So make sure you check those. So you don't get in trouble and don't do all this work. Just find out that you have to undo it because it doesn't meet the ordinances. Um, you know, and like I said, don't be afraid to show off your creativity. Add some personal touch. Maybe create a theme, some type of monogram. Or you can rep your favorite sports team. You know, uh, not that I would be able to do that because I'm a Packers fan. My wife is a Chiefs fan. So, you know doesn't doesn't really uh doesn't really uh go well for me 
And then the third way is the garden inspired aspect of it. And again, this is going to be based on the location of the mailbox. This is a very popular solution, especially where I live, adding plants, um, garden beds or other landscaping ideas are all great ways to give your mailbox a little extra attention and kind of make it stand out as a centerpiece for for people to uh you know when they when they see when they see your house and if your mailbox is already in good condition you know the post is already in good condition this is a great way to not have to really do that, but just kind of make some overall curb appeal attractiveness to the front of your house. And really with this part, you're only as limited as the greenness of, of your thumb. Um, <clears throat> for those that know me, that is definitely not me. I kill most plants, unfortunately. Uh, you know, you could also, the the latest idea my wife has for ours, uh, once the weather warms up, is she wants to get a wooden or some type of wire trellis and add it to the mailbox and plant some uh, vining flowers like uh, clematis or honeysuckle. Uh, I'm told that those climb trellis thingies... Uh, and those are great choices. I've also seen hanging baskets somewhere on or around the post, as well as on the back side of the mailbox, I've seen uh, plant stands attached to the post. And these are just ways that you can add a little bit of nature and beauty to the mailbox, just to give it that curb appeal, make it stand out and you know make it a centerpiece so people will see it there are some other ideas as far as less maintenance plants I, again depending on where you live i live in the midwest so it's pretty easy to keep some plants alive if you live in more dry 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 or humid regions uh, you know cr look at creating a rock garden or maybe a succulent garden this is going to require less maintenance, less watering, and still gives it that touch of nature and beauty. So that's it. That Those are the three ways to give your mailbox a facelift. Um, and to answer the question, does my mailbox lead to further curb appeal? It absolutely does because, again, it's going to be one of those, one of the first things that is seen when somebody pulls up to your house when you go to sell it um, it is going to help justify whatever the price is that you have listed on your house so it is absolute it's one of those things like your garage door your entry and your front door all is going to add as well as landscaping all of these are going to add to the curb appeal and help justify the price of your home when you are ready to sell so that that's it. That is going to wrap it up for me today. I would also love to know what have you guys done with your mailbox or to your mailbox? Um, did I cover something on the list? Did I miss something that should have been added to the list? I would love to see the projects that you have going on, either the before and the after or just the, the end result. I would love to see that and have you guys share it with me. That is going to wrap it up for me in the hot list. Again, I'm your host, Matt Johnson with Keller Williams Realty. I do this because your experience matters and should be trusted with a veteran. Y'all have a phenomenal Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.